Welcome to another episode of Quick Question with top producing Twin Cities realtor Dave Oswald. Now, join Dave as he answers your questions about residential real estate. When financing a purchase, I'm often asked, what are the closing cost contribution limits that we can ask for from a seller? And let's first define what closing costs are for a buyer. A buyer is going to have a loan origination fee, most likely, unless it's built into the interest rate of their loan. But that could be anywhere from, like I say, zero to approximately 1% origination fee. Then you've got prepaid items like escrows for taxes and escrows for homeowners insurance. Um, there's a home appraisal. That can be $450. Uh, documentation fees, underwriting fees, title costs, registration tax, uh, recording fees, and, and the uh, broker administration fee. So all these fees add up. And when a home buyer is um, gathering up their resources for a down payment, sometimes being able to spend several thousand dollars more on their closing costs is a difficult situation to be in. And it's, it sometimes means the difference between affordability or not affordability uh, for a home buyer. So they oftentimes ask the seller. Now sometimes sellers take umbrage at uh, closing cost contribution. Why should I pay for their closing costs? Well, are you willing to give them a discount off your asking price or maybe even gross up your asking price to help pay for some closing costs for a buyer? Uh, it's just another form of a concession. But there are limits on how much a seller can contribute depending upon the type of loan. For example, if it is a conventional borrower putting 5% down, and there are conventional loans where you put 5% down, the limit is 3%. If you're putting 10 to 20% down, the banks will allow up to 6% contribution by the sellers. So 6% of the purchase price can go towards the buyer's closing costs. FHA, uh, for an FHA borrower, the, the uh, seller's contribution to buyer's closing cost limit is 6%. For DVA or veterans loans, it's 4%. And if you're an investor buying an investment property, the most you can ask a seller to contribute to your closing costs is 2%. I hope that answers that closing cost question for you. I'm Dave Oswald. We'll see you next time with another quick question. Have a quick question about residential real estate? Email it to us at quickquestion at daveoswaldhomes.com.